Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 24. That is, what is integration testing? Let me answer. Integration testing is one of the levels of software testing. In software testing, we have four levels. That is unit testing, followed by integration testing, which is followed by system testing, and finally followed by acceptance testing. These are the four levels of software testing and integration testing is one of the levels of software testing. But what exactly is this integration testing and what will be tested as part of integration testing? Let me answer that. In simple words, we will be testing the interface between different units or we'll be testing the interface between different modules, that is functionalities, or we'll be testing the interface between different systems. Anything can be called as integration testing, okay? Testing of the interface between different units or testing the interface between different modules or testing the interface between different systems to see how these units are working together or to see how these modules are working together or to see how the systems are working together. That's what is integration testing, guys, okay? I'll give you some examples for uh, integrating the units, integrating the modules and integrating the systems. Examples for integrating the units, okay? While performing the integration testing where you are integrating the unit, the example here is, let's say in the last session, okay, in the last uh, uh, interview question, in one of the last interview questions, I explained about what is unit testing, right? I described the unit as a piece of code which cannot be broken further, right? I described the or explained about a unit which is nothing but a piece of code which cannot be broken further. Such kind of individual units, okay, which can be logically grouped together, will be grouped together and checked whether they are working together or not, okay? They will be integrated together logically. Individual units will be tested first as part of unit testing. Usually they will be tested. After that, the related or logically groupable units can be grouped together and tested. And this is called as unit level integration testing, which is generally performed by the developers case, okay? Developers will perform this kind of testing. Where developers who will be performing the integration testing at the unit level, Individual units are grouped together logically and tested together. Such kind of testing will be performed by developers case, okay? Such kind of integration testing will be performed by the developers. And we can also perform integration testing at module level or functionality level. For example, there are two functionalities like restart, restart functionality. If you go to this application, guys, if I take you to this uh, e-commerce application, tutorialsinja.com slash demo sample application, here, there is restart functionality, there is login functionality. We can individually test, we can separately test the register account functionality and we can separately test the login functionality, but there's a connection between the register and login. What is the connection guys? How can we test, uh, how can we integrate this register and uh, login and test together? You see, whatever, for example, you create a new account with the register account and with the help of created account, you want to log in, right? Is, you see, after creating an account with this register, after giving valid details and creating an account, with that credentials, if you are able to log in, that's nothing but an integration, right? If you log in with valid credentials, you'll be in, you'll be connected to the home page, right? So every functionality is integrated together and tested, right? So the account created with the register, we should be able to log in. So that's what is the integration, right? So who will be performing such kind of integration testing at module level, where we'll be testing the interface between the register and login? Account created with register functionality should should work with login functionality where you should be able to log in with that newly created account with the register functionality, okay? So they have to be working together. So such kind of integration testing at the module level will be generally performed by the testers, okay? Code level, there will be, unit level is nothing but the code level. Code level units will be integrated and uh, logically grouped and tested together by the developers, okay? Which comes into the white box testing anyhow. But uh, similarly, integration testing can also be performed at the module level by the testers, okay? This register and login. Individually, they will be tested and after that, they will be tested together. And also, this integration testing can be performed at the system level. Multiple systems can be integrated together to become some better system. For example, here we have an e-commerce application. Not only this one, guys, if you go to Amazon or Flipkart or whatever it is, okay? At the end, they have the payment gateway, right? So that payment gateway, that payment gateway may not belong to this application. Is that other third party application. But here, this e-commerce application is integrated with a third party payment gateway application to 
to solve the purpose right so such kind of and also in uh, in some cases guys uh, for example if i give you one more example for this uh, integration testing at system level you see let's say you are paying some bills uh, you are using paytm or some uh, upi apps these days okay so a lot of paytm or many other apps are there in the market from the paytm you are able to pay the electricity bill right so here multiple systems are integrated guys okay paytm is getting integrated with the Alex, uh, government uh, related electricity application and that government uh, and also not only government related uh, electricity application to, to process a payment but also but also guys a payment gateway is also there right so you have to uh, you have to give your net banking you see there are different options available in paytm where you can select the net banking to pay that so here multiple systems paytm is integrating with the electricity government electricity related application and it is also integrating that paytm is also integrating with the net banking softwares or applications of the different banks okay such kind of integration happens at system level also okay who will be performing such kind of integrations guys again testers okay only the unit level integrations are performed by developers whereas a uh, module functionality level or system level integrations will be done by the testers okay fine now now guys what there are different types of integration testing okay there are different types of integration testing possible that is incremental and non incremental incremental means step by step right so first level to the next level that is incremental okay slow by slow you will grow it will keep on incrementing okay the size will grow for a period of time that is incremental non incremental means at a go at a go guys so in incremental we have three integration testing approaches okay in incremental we have three integra uh, integration testing approaches first approach is in uh, incremental uh, integration testing is top down in integration testing approach okay the first one is top down integration testing approach what is this top down integration testing in top down integration testing how the integration testing will be performed is so in the top down okay top down means from top to down from top to down that is called as top down in top down integration testing the parent level okay the parent level modules or okay the parent level units or modules or systems will be okay the parent level units or modules or systems will be integrated with the child level okay the parent level will be integrated with the child level maybe ideally like this okay then the child level the child level will again integrate with the next child level okay so like this it will be integrating so here parent level units are integrating with the next child level in units and next child level units are integrating with the the next uh, next uh, child level units okay here integration is happening from the happening from the top level to the bottom level right from top level to the bottom level the integration is happening here in this case so here integration of different things guys it can be integration of units which will be done by the uh, developers right as part of integration testing and unit level will be done by developers like this individual units can be logically grouped and parent and uh, child level units will be integrated together from top to bottom from top to bottom like this that is called as top down that is called as top down integration testing approach so there is a problem that you may face uh, the developers may face or anyone who is performing the integration testing may face is you see you see while integrating the parent level to the child level units and uh, or modules or something as part of integration testing and going down from top to bottom one of the unit may not be available let's say this particular unit is not available is it possible to proceed from top to bottom from top to bottom from top to down is it possible to proceed because here this is taking a lot of time only this particular part is taking a lot of time and will, uh, you cannot uh, that will waste your time right that will waste your time if one of the unit or modular system is not available to proceed further integration from top to bottom here the work will stop the work will stop case so what we generally do in this case is instead of putting a real unit or real module or system here we will put a dummy one a dummy temporary dummy okay temporary code a temporary code or dummy code kind of thing we generally call that as we generally call that as stubs okay we generally call that as stubs if a real unit is not available 
while integrating the units from top level to the bottom level during the process if at one level one of the unit is not ready and it's taking a lot of time it will increase the duration for this integration testing to complete to overcome that problem okay by the time this particular unit is ready we cannot wait right so instead of that till that unit is ready we'll put a dummy system dummy unit in place of the real unit okay which will simply generate the pass the data and all those stuff okay that we generally call that as tub okay it's a dummy unit it's a dummy unit guys which will behave like a real unit but it's not the actual unit okay a stub kind of thing we'll put to proceed further without delaying the integration okay but once a real unit is available we'll replace the stub with the real unit okay so that's what is top down integration testing approach and similarly we have bottom up okay the reverse of the top down is bottom up is there okay so where we will integrate from bottom to up okay top down bottom up from bottom level to upper level okay upside bottom up integration testing approach where the low level child units okay the low level child units will be integrated with their parent level units okay they will be integrated with the parent level units like this okay they will be integrated with the parent level units let's integrate the low level child units will be integrated with the parent level unit and then these parent level units will be integrated with their parent level units and these parent level units will be integrated with their parent level units and so on guys okay so this is bottom up integration testing approach here also there may be some situation where one of the unit may not be available okay let's say this particular unit is not available is not ready okay here in the case of bottom up the in this place of non available unit which is going to take time and which is going to delay our integration testing approach integration testing in place of this real one we'll put a dummy one okay which can simulate the real one okay having some dummy code and all which can simulate the real one and we call that as driver what we call that as we call them a we call this particular kind of thing as driver case in case of top down we call that as top but in case of bottom up we call that as driver okay this dummy unit okay, which is uh, put in place of the real unit okay to to not delay the integration testing is nothing but the driver in case of bottom up whereas in top down it is called as top guys fine now so in bottom up integration testing approach we call that dummy unit or program uh, which is actually okay uh, actually simulating the real unit or something which is not at available or which is going to take some time to get available is nothing but driver in case of bottom up in case of top down we call that as stuffs now guys we have one more thing that is sandwich sandwich integration sandwich integration testing approach okay sandwich integration testing approach where which is nothing but a combination of top down and bottom up okay it's a hybrid approach you can say sandwich approach you you know a sandwich right how a sandwich will look like one bread slice will be there here another bread slice will be in the bottom one bread slice will be on the top another bread slice will be on the bottom and in between that all the material will be there okay the salad or whatever will be there in between that okay this we call that as sandwich right in real world so here also sandwich integration testing also represent that real sandwich in the real world where the integration will happen not only from top to top to down but also it simultaneously it will happen from bottom to up top to down top down and also bottom up both will happen guys that means here the parent level parent level units will be integrated with the child level units okay okay simultaneously the parent level units will be integrated with the parent level units will be integrated with the child level units and the child level units okay simultaneously the low level child level units also simultaneously will be integrated with the parent level units okay here integration is happening in both the direction that's why we call that as sandwich case okay top down integration is happening at same time simultaneously bottom up two directions integration is going forward that means that means guys here integration is happening in both the direction simultaneously from 
top down and bottom up okay and here guys that's the reason there will be two things both stops and drivers will be there okay while you are coming from top to bow, bottom okay while you are coming from top to down we are going to use stops while you are while you are integrating from bottom to top the dummy programs we call them as drivers okay they are going to drive you from bottom to up whereas stops are going to take you from top to down bottom okay top to down so here both stops and drivers will be used if real units are not available during this uh, sandwich integration testing approach we use both uh, stops and drivers okay from top to down when you are coming from top to down you are going to use stops where when you are going from bottom to up you are going to use drivers okay fine so this uh, this three come this three integration testing falls under the incremental integration testing okay now we have non incremental also okay in non incremental another category of integration testing is also there that is non incremental type where only one one thing is there okay only one approach is there in the non incremental integration testing type that is nothing but big bang integration testing approach okay only one approach is there under the non incremental type of integration testing that is nothing but the big bang integration testing approach what is big bang integration testing approach means here here guys all the units okay let's say this is a software application and uh, all the units will be first uh, made ready guys okay before you integrate it before you start integrating okay before you start integrating any of these units we'll make sure that all the units of the application or a function uh, application or code is ready and once all the units are ready then at a go as a big bang you see uh, in science we have a big bang theory right uh, the universe will burst and we got a big bang kind of thing okay so we don't know the order right so here similarly here big bang integration testing approach also all the units will be of the application are made ready first after that the related units will be grouped like this okay so whatever the units are need to be grouped like this they will be grouped in different directions at a go to see whether they are working together or not okay so here integration big bang integration means it there it is not top to top to down or bottom to up or not both but uh, here it is like all the units will be integrated in different permutations and combinations at a go and tested together this is this is what this is big bang integration testing it is non incremental guys at a go all the units all the units will or modules or systems will be integrated together and see whether they are working together properly or not okay this comes in the big bang but there is a drawback in this big bang guys what is the drawback in big bang big bang integration testing approach since uh, you are not going in a incremental fashion okay in in big bang integration testing approach if you since you are not going in a step by step or incremental fashion what happens is there is a possibility that you you will forget to test the integration between any of this module for example you forgot to test the integration between this module and this module or something okay you forgot to test this one there's a possibility that you will forget the uh, testing of the integration between different modules guys okay that's the only thing because at a time you are integrating different modules in different different units or modules in different combinations so definitely there will be possibility that some units you will not test you will forgot to test integration okay so that's only the drawback of the big bang integration test fine guys with this i am done answering the question what exactly is integration testing in software testing okay so this how guys you can answer the question okay when you come across this questions in the interviews you can answer like this guys so that's all for this session guys in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye